Back when, if I remember correctly, my life was a feast where all hearts were opened, where all wines flowed. One night I sat beauty on my lap, and I found her kisses to be bitter. And so I hurled abuse at her. I armed myself against justice. I ran away, O oh, witches, O oh, misery, O oh, hatred. My treasure has been entrusted to you. I managed to make all human hope vanish in my mind. With all joy to strangle him, I made the silent leap of the ferocious beast. I called the executioners, too, while perishing, bite the butt of their guns. I called the plagues to choke on the sand with the blood. Misfortune was my god. I laid down in the mud. I've been avoiding the scenes of my crimes, and I played strange tricks on madness. And spring brought me only the ugly laugh of the idiot. Yet, just recently, I found myself about to make the final quack. I thought about finding the key to the ancient feast where I might regain my appetite. Charity is that key. This inspiration proves that I dreamed. You will remain hyena, etc., cried the demon who crowned me with such kind poppies. Win death with all your appetites and your selfishness and all your deadly sins. Ah, I have taken too much. But, dear Satan, I beseech you, view me with a less irritated gaze. And while waiting for the few little cowardly indiscretions of mine who are late, you who love in the right of the absence of descriptive or instructive faculties, I detach for you leaves from the few hideous pages of my book of damned souls. Bad blood. I have from my Gallic ancestors the blue-white eye, the narrow brain, and the clumsiness in the struggle. I find my clothing as barbaric as theirs, but I don't butter my hair. The Gauls were the animal skinners, the most inept herb burners of their time. From them I have idolatry and the love of sacrilege, Oh, all vices, anger, lust, magnificent lust, especially lies and laziness. I hate all trades, masters and workers, all peasants, vile. The hand holding a quill is worth the hand guiding the plow. What a century of hands we have. I'll never have my hand. Afterwards, domesticity leads one far away. The honesty of begging grieves me. The criminals disgust as if they were castrati. I still have my balls and I don't care. But who has made my tongue so treacherous that it has guided and saved so far my lazy disposition? Without using my body to live and more idle than the toad, I have lived everywhere. Not a family from Europe, I don't know. I hear families like mine, all of them based on the Declaration of Human Rights. I've known every son in the family. If I but had a history at any point in the history of France, but no, nothing. It is clear to me that I have always been of an inferior race. I cannot understand the revolt. My race only ever rose up to plunder, like the wolves toying with the beast they didn't kill. It reminds me of the history of France, eldest daughter of the church. I will have made like a pilgrim the journey from the Holy Land. I have in my mind roads in the Swabian plains, views of Byzantium, ramparts of Suleiman, the worship of Mary. The tenderness of the crucified awakens in me among the thousand profaned paganisms. I sit, leper, on broken pots and nettles at the foot of a sun-drenched wall. Later... Once I would have bivouacked under the stars of Germany. Ah, uh, again, I danced the Sabbath in a red clearing with the elderly and with children. I remember no further than this earth and Christianity. I will never stop seeing myself again in this past, but always alone, without family. What language was I even speaking? I never see myself in the councils of Christ, nor in the councils of the lords, representatives of Christ. 
What was I in the last century? More vagrants, another wave of wars, the inferior races covered everything, the people, as they say, reason, the nation, and science. Oh, science, we took it all back for the body and for the soul. Viaticum, one has medicine and philosophy, good women's remedies and arranged folk songs and the entertainment of the princes and the games they forbade, geography, cosmography, mechanics, chemistry, science, the new nobility, progress, the world marches on. Why wouldn't the world spin? It is the vision of numbers. We return to pure thought. I am an oracle. And it is very certain what I say. I understand, and not knowing how to explain myself without pagan words, I shall simply remain silent. Pagan blood is coming back. The spirit is near. Why does Christ not help me, giving my soul nobility and freedom? Alas, the gospel has passed. The gospel, the gospel. I wait greedily for God. I am of the lower race for all eternity. Here I am on the Armorican beach. The cities light up in the evening. My day is done. I'm leaving Europe. The sea air will burn my lungs. The lost climates will tan me. Swimming, grubbing grass, hunting, smoking especially. Drinking strong liquor like boiling metal. As those dear ancestors did around the fires. I will return with iron limbs, dark skin, furious eye. Of my appearance, I will be judged of a strong race. I will have gold. I will be idle and brutal. The women are curing these ferocious cripples come back from the hot lands. I'll be involved in political affairs. Save. Now I'm cursed. I hate the fatherland. The best part is getting drunk on the beach. We're not leaving. Let's go back to the ways of here, full of my vice, the vice that pushed its roots of suffering deep inside from the age when I could first reason, that ascends to heaven, beats me, overturns me, drags me along, the last innocence and the last shyness. That's it. Do not bring my disgust and betrayals into the world. Let's go, walking, burden, desert, boredom, and anger. Who can I rent? What beast should we worship? What icon are we attacking? What heart shall I break? What lies should I tell? In what blood? Rather, to avoid justice, the hard life, the simple stupidity, lift the desiccated hand, the lid of the coffin, sit down, choke. Thus point of old age, nor of dangers, terror is not French. Ah, I am so neglected that I offer to any divine image of the impulses toward perfection. Oh, my self-sacrifice, oh, my wonderful charity. Down here, though, de profundus dominates. Am I an idiot? Still, as a child, I admired the uncompromising convict on whom the prison was always closed. I visited the inns and garrisons that he would have consecrated by his stay. I saw with his idea the blue sky and the blooming work of the countryside. I sensed his fate in the cities. He had more strength than a saint, more common sense than a traveler, and he alone as a witness to his glory and reason. On the roads, in winter nights, without shelter, without clothes, without bread, a voice hugged my frozen heart. Weakness or strength, here you are, it is strength. You don't know where you're going or why you're going. Come in, answer everything. We won't kill you any more than if you were a corpse. In the morning, I had the look of one so lost and dead that those I met may not have seen me. In the cities, the mud suddenly appeared to me red and black, like ice, when the lamp circulates in the next room, like a treasure in the forest. Good luck, I cried, and saw a sea of flames and smoke in the sky, and on the left, on the right, all the riches flaming like a billion thunders. But the orgy and camaraderie of women were forbidden to me, not even a companion. I saw myself in front of an exasperated crowd, in front of the firing squad, weeping for the misfortune that they could not understand, and forgiving them, like Joan of Arc, 
priest teaches, teaches, you deceive me by giving me up to righteousness. I have never been of this people. I have never been a Christian. I am of the race that sang in torment. I do not understand the laws. I have no moral sense. I am a brute. You deceive. Yes, I have my eyes closed to your light. I'm a beast, a negro, but I can be saved. You are false negroes, you maniacs, ferocious, stingy, merchant, you are a negro, magistrate, you are a negro, general, you are a negro, emperor, old itch, you are a negro, you have drunk from a tax-exempt liquor from the factory of Satan. These people are inspired by fever and cancer, cripples and old men are so respectable they ask to be boiled. The smartest thing is to leave this continent where madness lurks to provide hostages for these wretches. I am entering the real kingdom of the children of Ham. Do I still know nature? Do I know me? No more words. I bury the dead in my belly. Scream, drum, dance, 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 dance. I can't even see the time when the white people show up and I'll fall into the void. Hunger, thirst, screaming, dancing, dancing, dancing. White people are coming. The cannon. You have to submit to baptism, dress, work. I receive the blow of grace in my heart. Ah, I didn't plan it. I have not done evil. The days will be light to me. Repentance will be spared. I would not have had the torments of the soul almost dead to good, where the severe light comes up like the funerary candles. The fate of the son of the family, a premature coffin covered in clear tears. Surely debauchery is an idiot and vice is an idiot. You must cast away the rot, but the clock will not be able to ring only the hour of pure pain. Will I be kidnapped like a child to play in paradise in the oblivion of all misfortune? Hurry, are there other lives? Sleep and wealth is impossible. Wealth has always been public property. Divine love alone grants the keys of science. I see that nature is a show of kindness. Farewell, dreams, ideals, mistakes. The reasonable song of the angels rises from the ship of salvation. It is divine love, two loves. I can die of earthly love, die of devotion. I have left souls whose sorrow will grow from my departure. You choose me from the shipwrecked? Aren't the rest my friends? Save them. Reason is born. The world is good. I will bless life. I'll love my brothers. These aren't childhood promises anymore. Nor the hope of escaping old age and death. God is my strength, and I praise God. Boredom is no longer my love. The rages, the debauchery, the madness of which I know all the elanings and disasters. All my burden is laid. Let's enjoy the extent of my innocence. I won't be able to ask for the comfort of a beating. I don't think I'm embarked on a wedding with Jesus Christ as my father-in-law. I want freedom and salvation. How to pursue it? Frivolous tastes have left me. No more need for devotion or divine love. I do not regret the century of sensitive hearts. Everyone has his reason, contempt, and charity. I retain my place at the top of this angelic scale of common sense. Night. Night of Hell. I swallowed a famous sip of poison. Three times blessed is the advice that has come to me. Uh, the entrails are burning. The violence of the venom twists my limbs, makes me deformed, disfigures me. I'm dying of thirst. I can't breathe. I can't cry. This is hell, the eternal punishment. See how the fire is rising. I'm burning right here. Attaboy, demon. I saw the conversion to good and happiness, salvation. Can I describe the vision? The air of hell does not suffer the anthems. It was millions of charming creatures, a suave spiritual concert, strength and peace, noble ambitions. What do I know? Noble ambitions. And it is still the life. If damnation is eternal, a man who wants to mutilate himself is damned, isn't he? I think I'm in hell, so I'm in hell. It is the execution of the catechism. I'm slave to my baptism. 
Parents, you've done my misfortune and you've done yours, poor innocent. Hell can't attack the heathens. It's life again. Later, the delights of damnation will be deeper. A crime, quickly, that I fall to nothing by human law. Shut up. But shut up. It is the shame, the reproach here. Satan, who says that the fire is ignoble, that my anger is terribly foolish. Enough. Mistakes I get blown away with. Magic, fake perfumes, childish music. And to say that I hold the truth, that I see justice. I have a sound judgment and stopped. I am ready for perfection, pride. The skin on my head is drying out. Please, God, I'm scared. I'm thirsty, so thirsty. Ah, the childhood, the grass, the rain, the lake on the stones, the moonlight when the bell tower sounded twelve. The devil is in the bell tower at this hour. Oh, Mary, holy virgin. I hate my stupidity. There are not honest souls who wish me well. Come, I have a pillow over my mouth. They can't hear me. They're ghosts, and no one ever thinks of anyone else. Don't come any closer. I feel bad, that's for sure. The hallucinations are innumerable. That's what I've always had. More faith in history. Forgetting principles. Poets and visionaries would envy me. I am a thousand times the richest. Let us be stingy as the sea. Ah, the clock of life stopped earlier. I'm not in the world anymore. Theology is serious. Hell is certainly down and heaven is up. Ecstasy, nightmare, sleep in a nest of flames. So much malice in the countryside. Satan, Ferdinand, runs with wild seeds. Jesus walks on purple brambles without bending them. Jesus walked on the waters of wrath. The lantern showed him standing white and brown braids on the side of an emerald wave. I will reveal all the mysteries, religious or natural mysteries, death, birth, future, past, cosmogony, nothing. I'm a master of fantasy. Listen up. I have all the skills. There's no one here and there's someone. I wouldn't want to spread my treasure. Do we want black songs? Do we want uh, hourly dances? Do they want me to disappear, dive in search of the ring? Do we? I'll make gold medicine. Trust me, faith relieves, guides, heals, everyone come, even the little children. May I comfort you, may his heart be poured out for you, the wonderful heart, poor, hard-working men. I do not ask for prayers, only with your trust will I be happy. And think of me, this makes me little regret the world. I'm lucky I don't suffer any more. My life was nothing but sweet follies. It's regrettable. Bah, do all the tricks imaginable. We're definitely out of the world. No sound. My tact is gone. Ah, my castle, my sacks, my willow wood, evenings, mornings, nights, days. Am I weary? I should have my hell for anger, my hell for pride, and hell for caress, a concert of the underworld. I'm dying of weariness. It's the tomb. I'm going to the worms. Horror of horror. Satan, you joker. You want to dissolve me with your charms. I demand, I demand a pitchfork, a drop of fire. Ah, go back to life. Look at our deformities in that poison, that thousand times cursed kiss. My weakness, the cruelty of the world. God, please hide me. I'm holding on too badly. I'm hidden and I'm not. My soul ascends, burning inside. Delirium's one, Virgin Follies. Dun, 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 dun. Let us hear the confession of a fellow of hell. O oh, divine husband, my lord, do not refuse the confession of the saddest of your handmaids. I'm confused, I'm drunk, I'm unclean. What a life! Pardon, divine lord, pardon. Ah, sorry, what tears, and tears later, I hope. Later I will know the divine bridegroom. I was born obedient to him. The other one can beat me now. Now I'm at the bottom of the world. Oh, my friends. No, not my friends. Never delusional or tortured like that. 
Is that stupid? Ah, I'm in pain. I'm screaming. I suffer, really. Yet all is permitted to me, charged with the contempt of the most despicable hearts. Finally, let us make this confession, even if we have to repeat it twenty other times. So dull, so insignificant. I am a slave to the infernal husband, the one who has lost the foolish virgins. It's that demon... It's not a ghost, it's not a ghost, but I, who have lost wisdom, who am damned and dead to the world, will not be killed. How do you describe him? I can't even talk any more. I'm grieving, I'm crying, I'm scared. A little freshness, Lord, if you will, if you will. I'm a widow, I was a widow, but yes, I was serious once, and I wasn't born to become a skeleton. He was almost a child. Her mysterious delicacies had seduced me. I forgot all my human duty to follow him. What a life. Real life is missing. We're not in the world. I know where he's going. I have to. And often he takes it out on me, the poor soul. The demon. He's a demon, you know. He's not a man. He says, I don't like women. Love has to be reinvented. We know that. They can only want a secure position. The position one, heart and beauty, are set aside. There is only cold disdain, the food of marriage today. Or well, I see women with the signs of happiness, of which I myself could have made good comrades devoured, first of all by sensitive brutes like pyres. I listen to him making infamy a glory, cruelty a charm. I am of a distant race. My fathers were Norse. They pierced their coasts, drank their blood. I'll make cuts all over my body. I'll tattoo myself. I want to become hideous like a Mongol. You'll see. I'll scream in the streets. I want to become mad. Don't ever show me any jewelry. I'll crawl and twist on the carpet. My wealth, I'd like it stained with blood everywhere. I'll never work. Several nights, his demon seizing me, we were rolling. I was struggling with him. At night, often drunk, he posts himself in streets or houses to frighten me to death. They'll really cut my neck. It'll be disgusting. Oh, those days when he wants to walk with the air of crime. Sometimes he speaks in a kind of tender patois of death which makes repentance, of the unfortunate which certainly exist, of the arduous works, of the departures which tear the hearts. In the slums where we got drunk, he wept, considering those around us cattle of poverty. He picked up drunks in the back streets. He had the pity of a mean mother for little children. He was leaving with little girl kindness at catechism. He pretended to be enlightened on everything, commerce, art, medicine. I was following him. I have to. I saw all the decor around which, in spirit, he surrounded himself. Clothes, sheets, furniture. I lent him weapons, another figure. I could see everything that touched him, like he wanted to create it for him. When it seemed to me to have an inert mind, I followed him myself in strange and complicated actions, far away, good or bad. I was sure never to enter his world. Next to his dear, sleepy body, so many hours of the night I watched, trying to figure out why he wanted so much to escape from reality. Never had man such a vow. I recognized, without fearing for him, that he could be a serious danger to society. Maybe he has secrets to change life, to transform life. No, he's just looking for it, I said. At last, his charity is bewitched, and I am its prisoner. No other soul would have enough strength, strength of despair, to be protected and loved by him. And besides, I didn't imagine it with another soul. One sees its angel, never the angel of another. I think I was in his soul like in a palace that was emptied so as not to see a person as noble as you. That's all. Alas, I depended on him. But what did he want with my dull, cowardly existence? He wouldn't make me any better if he didn't make me die. Saddened, I sometimes say to him, I understand you. He shrugs. Thus, my sorrow being continually renewed.
Thus my sorrow, being continually renewed and finding me more astray in his eyes, as in all the eyes that would have liked to set me if I had not been condemned forever to the oblivion of all, I was getting hungry for his goodness. With her kisses and her friendly hugs, it was indeed a sky, a dark sky, where I entered and where I wished to be left, poor, deaf, dumb, blind. I used to, I saw us as two good children, free to walk in the paradise of sorrow. We agreed. Well moved, we worked together. But after a penetrating caress, he said, How funny it will seem to you when I'm not there, what you've been through. When you don't have my arms under your neck or my heart to rest in or that mouth on your eyes, because I'll have to go away, very far away some day. Then I have to help others. It is my duty. Whatever it is, it doesn't stink. Dear soul. At once I was in a hurry. He left in a state of vertigo, precipitated into the most dreadful shadow, death. At once I was in a hurry. He left in a state of vertigo, precipitated into the most dreadful shadow, death. I made him promise he wouldn't leave me alone. He made that promise twenty times. It was as frivolous as me saying, I understand you. Ah, uh, I've never been jealous of him. He won't leave me, I think. That become... He has no knowledge. He will never work. He wants to sleepwalk alone. Would his goodness and his charity give him right into the real world? At times I forget the pity where I fell. He will make me strong. We will travel. We will hunt in the deserts. We will sleep on the cobbles of unknown cities without care, without sorrow. Nor I will awaken and the laws and customs will have changed. Thanks to its magic power, the world, remaining the same, will leave me to my desires, joys, nonchalances. Oh, the life of adventure that exists in children's books to reward me. I have suffered so much. Will you give it to me? He can't. I don't know what his ideal is. He told me he had regrets. He had hopes. It shouldn't be my business. Does he speak to God? Perhaps I should address God. I am deep in the abyss and I can no longer pray. If he would explain to me his sorrows, will I understand them more than his mockery? He attacks me. He spends hours shaming me for everything I've ever touched in the world, and he's outraged if I cry. You see this elegant young man entering the beautiful and quiet house. His name is Duval, Dufour, Armand, Maurice. What do I know? A woman has devoted herself to loving this evil idiot. She is dead. She is certainly a saint in heaven now. You'll kill me like he killed that woman. This is our fate, charitable hearts. Alas, he had days when all men acting seemed to him the toys of grotesque delirium. He laughed terribly, long, then he took up his ways as a young mother, as a beloved sister. If he were less savage, we'd be saved. But her sweetness is deadly, too. I'm obedient to him. Ah, I'm crazy. Perhaps one day he will disappear wonderfully, but I must know, if he must ascend to a heaven, that I may see a little the assumption of my boyfriend. What a household! Delirium too, alchemy of the verb. Mine, the story of one of my follies. For a long time I boasted of owning all possible landscapes and found derisory the celebrities of modern painting and poetry. I loved idiotic paintings, tops of doors, decorations, canvases of bookstores, signs, popular illuminations, old-fashioned literature, church Latin, erotic books without spelling, novels of our ancestors, fairy tales, little books of childhood, old operas, silly refrains, naive rhythms. I dreamed of crusades, voyages of discoveries of which we have no relations, republics without stories, wars of religion suffocated, revolutions of mores, displacements of races and continents. I believed in all the enchantments. I invented the color of vowels. A, black, E, white. I, red, O, blue, U, green. I regulated the form and movement of each consonant and with instinctive rhythms. I flattered myself to invent a poetic verb accessible. One day or the other to all the senses, I was booking the translation. 
It was first a study. I wrote down silences, nights. I wrote down the inexpressible. I was staring at vertigo. Far from the birds, from the herds, from the villages. What was I drinking, kneeling in that heather, surrounded by tender hazelwood in a warm green afternoon fog? What could I drink in this young place, speechless abalone, grass without flowers, overcast sky? Drink to those yellow canteens away from my cabin, honey, some sweet gold liquor. I was making a shady inn sign, a thunderstorm came to cast out the sky. In the evening the water of the woods was lost on the virgin sands. God's wind was throwing ice at the ponds. Crying, I saw gold and could not drink. At four o'clock in the morning, summer, the sleep of love still lasts under the jars, evaporates the smell of the party. Over there in their vast building site, in the sun of the Hesperides, already move in shirt arms. Carpenter. In their deserts of moss, quiet, they prepare the precious wainscoting where the city will paint false skies. Oh, for these charming workers, subject of a king of Babylon. Venus, leave the lovers for a moment, whose soul is in the crown. O oh, queen of the shepherds, for the workers, may their forces be at peace, waiting for the bath in the sea at noon. The poetic old age had a good part in my alchemy of the verb. I got used to the simple hallucination. I saw, quite frankly, a mosque instead of a factory, a school of drums made by angels, carriages on the roads of the sky, a salon at the bottom of a lake, monsters, mysteries, a vaudeville title raised, scares in front of me. Then I explained my magical sophisms with the hallucination of words. I finally find the disorder of my mind sacred. I was idle, suffering from a heavy fever. I envied the bliss of beasts, the caterpillars, which represent the innocence of limb, the moles, the sleep of virginity. My character got bitter. I was saying goodbye to the world in some kind of romance. Song of the Tallest Tower Let him come, let him come, the time we fall in love with. I've been so patient that I never forget. Fear and suffering to heaven are gone, and the unhealthy thirst darkens my veins. Let him come, let him come, the... Let him come, let him come, the time we spend like the meadow oblivion delivered grandiose and flowery of incense and drunkenness to the wild bumblebee filthy flies let him come let him come the time we fall in love with I loved the desert, the burned orchards, the faded shops, the lukewarm drinks. I wandered down the stinking alleys, and with my eyes closed, I offered myself to the sun, god of fire. General, if there is an old cannon left on your ruined ramparts, bombard us with blocks of dry land, ice cream shops splendid in the living rooms. Let the city eat its dust. Oxidize the gargoyles, fill the boudoirs with hot ruby powder. Oh, the moucheron, intoxicated at the dandelion of the inn, in love with the bourrache, and that dissolves a ray. <sighs> Hunger. If I have taste, it is hardly only for the earth and stones. I always eat breakfast, rock, coals, iron. My hunger, turn, eat, eat, the sound meadow attracts the gay venom birdweed. Eat the rocks we break, the old church stones, the pebbles of the old flood, bread sown in the gray valleys. The wolf cried under the leaves, spitting out the beautiful feathers of her poultry meal. Like him I burn myself. Salads, fruits, wait for the spoon, but the spider of the hedge eat only violets. Let me sleep, I come to the altars of Solomon. 
The broth runs on rust and mingles with the cedron. Finally, O bliss, O reason, I remove from the sky the azure, which is of the black, and I lived sparkle of gold on the natural light. From joy I took an expression comical and misplaced it best. She's found. What? Eternity? It is the sea mingled in the sun. My eternal soul, what's your wish? Despite the night alone and the day on fire, so you're out of here, human votes, common impulses and fly according to never hope, no oriatur, science and patience, the torture is sure. Tomorrow, satin embers, your ardor is duty. She's found, what, eternity? It is the sea mingled in the sun. I became a fabulous opera. I saw that all beings have a fatality of happiness. Action is not life. But a way to waste some strength and irritation. The moral is the weakness of the brain. With each being, several other lives seem due to me. This gentleman doesn't know what he's doing. He's an angel. This family is a breeding ground for dogs. In front of several men, I spoke out loud with a moment from one of their other lives, so I loved a pig. None of the sophistry of insanity, the insanity that is locked up, has been forgotten by me. I could say them all again. I grasped the system. My health was threatened. The terror was coming. I fell into slumbering for several days and lifted up. I continued the saddest dreams. I was ready for death and by a road of danger my weakness led me to the edge of the world and of Simmery, the fatherland of shadow and whirlwinds. I had to travel, distract the enchantments assembled on my brain, on the sea which I loved as if it had washed me of an uncleanness. I saw the consoling cross rising. I'd been damned by the rainbow. Happiness was my fate, my remorse, my worm. My life would always be too immense to be devoted to strength and beauty. Happiness, his tooth sweet to death, warned me of cock crowing ad matutinum, Christus venit in the darkest cities. O seasons, O castles, what soul is without blemish? I did the magic study. Happiness let no one evade. Salvation to him, every time let the Gallic rooster sing. Ah, I wouldn't want to. He took care of my life. This charm took soul and body and scattered efforts, O oh seasons, O oh castles. Time for escape, alas, will be the hour of the death. O oh seasons, O oh castles, it happened. I know how to salute beauty today. Impossible. Ah, this life of my childhood, the great road of all time, sober supernaturally, more selfless than the best of the beggars, proud of having no country nor friends. What stupidity it was. And I can only see it. I was right to despise those good men who would not lose the opportunity of a caress, parasites of the cleanliness and health of our women, today that they agree with us so little. I was right in all my disdain, since I am escaping. I escaped from custody. Let me explain. Only yesterday I sighed, Heavens, are we enough damned down here? Me, I have so much time in their company. I know them all. We always recognize each other. We disgust each other. Charity is unknown to us, but we are polite. Our relations with the world are very proper. Is it surprising, the world, the merchants, the naive? We are not dishonored. But the chosen ones, how would they receive us? Now, there are those who are bold and joyful, false chosen, because we need boldness or humility to approach them. They are the only ones elected. They are not blenders. They don't blend in. Having found me too under reason, it passes quickly. I see my ailments have just not occurred to me early enough that we are in the West. The Western swamps, not that I believe the altered light, the exhausted form, the misguided movement. All right, now my mind wants absolutely to deal with all the cruel developments that the mind has undergone since the end of the East. He wants my mind. Both my reasons are over. The spirit is authority. He wants me to be in the West. You'd have to shut him up to close the deal the way I wanted. I said to the devil, the palms of the martyrs, the rays of art, the pride of the inventors, the ardor of the robbers. I return to the East and to the first and eternal wisdom. 
I hear it's a dream of gross laziness. Yet I hardly thought of the pleasure of escaping modern sufferings. I didn't see the bastard wisdom of the Koran. But is there not a real torment in that? Since this declaration of science, Christianity, man is played out, proves himself the evidences, inflates himself with the pleasure of repeating these evidences, and lives only like this? Subtle, silly torture, source of my spiritual divagations. Nature could be bored, perhaps. Mr. Prudhomme was born with Christ. Isn't that because we grow the mist, we eat fever with our watery vegetables, and drunkenness and tobacco and ignorance and the devotion? Is all this far enough from the wisdom of the East, the primitive fatherland? Why a modern world of such poisons are invented? The churchmen will say it is understood, but you want to talk about Eden. Nothing for you in the history of the Eastern peoples. That's right. I was thinking of Eden. What is this for my dream, this purity of ancient races? Philosophers, the world has no age. Humanity is moving, simply. You are in the West, but free to dwell in the East, however ancient it may be, and to dwell in it well. Don't be a loser, philosophers. You are from your West. My mind, beware. No violent salvation parties. Practice. Ah, science isn't fast enough for us. But I realize my mind is sleeping. If he was still awake from that moment on, we would soon be at the truth, who perhaps surrounds us with his weeping angels. If he had been awake until this moment, it is because I would not have given in to deleterious instincts in an age immemorial. If he had always been awake, I would sail in full wisdom. Oh, purity, purity, it was that moment of awakening that gave me the vision of purity. By the Spirit we go to God. Heartbreaking misfortune. Lightning. Human endeavor, it is the explosion that illuminates my abyss from time to time. Nothing is vanity, science and onward, shouts the modern Ecclesiastes. That is everyone, and yet the corpses of the wicked and lazy fall upon the hearts of others. Ah, quick, 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 quick. Are we escaping? What can I do? I know the work and science is too slow. Let the prayer gallop and the light roar. I can see that. It's too simple and it's too hot. I won't be needed. I have my duty. I will be proud of it the way of many putting it aside. My life is worn out. Let's go. Let's feign. Let's feign. Oh, please. And we will exist by having fun, by dreaming of monster loves and fantastic universes, by complaining and quarreling with the appearances of the world. Street entertainer, beggar, artist, bandit, priest. On my hospital bed, the smell of incense came back to me so powerful. Guardian of sacred aromas, confessor, martyr. I recognize my rotten childhood education. Then what? Go my twenties if the others go twenties. No, no, now I rebel against death. The work seems too light for my pride. My betrayal to the world would be too short a torment. At the last moment, I would attack right, left. So, oh, dear poor soul, wouldn't eternity be lost for us? Morning. Didn't I once have kind, heroic, fabulous memories of youth to write on gold leaf? Too lucky was I. By what crime, by what mistake did I deserve my present weakness? You who claim that beasts sob with sorrow, that sick people despair, that dead people dream badly, try to tell of my fall in my sleep. I can't explain myself any more than the beggar with his constant peta and Ave Maria. I can't speak any more. Yet today I believe I have ended the relationship of my hell. It was hell indeed, the elder whose gates the Son of Man opened. From the same desert to the same night, always my weary eyes awaken to the silver star, always without moving the kings of life, the three wise men, the heart, the soul, the spirit. When shall we, beyond the strikes in the mountains, salute the birth of my new work, new wisdom, the flight of tyrants and demons, the end of superstition, worship them first, Christmas on earth? The song of heaven, the march of peoples, slaves, let's not curse life. Farewell. 
autumn already. But what regret and eternal sign if we are committed to the discovery of divine clarity, far from the people who die on the seasons? Fall, our boat raised in the still mist turns toward the port of misery, the huge city with the sky stained with fire and mud. Ah, the rotten rags, the raining bread, the drunkenness, the thousand loves that crucified me. So it will not end this ghoulish queen of millions of dead souls and bodies who will be judged. I can remember the skin that was eaten away by mud and pestilence, worms in my hair and armpits and even bigger worms in my heart, lying among the unknowns without age, without feeling. I could have died there, the awful evocation. I hate poverty, and I dread winter because it's the season of comfort. Sometimes I see endless beaches in heaven covered with white nations in joy. A great ship of gold above me agitates its multicolored flags under the breezes of the morning. I created all the parties, all the triumphs, all the dramas. I tried to invent new flowers, new stars, new flesh, new languages. I thought I was acquiring supernatural powers. Well, I have to bury my imagination and my memories. A beautiful fame of artist and storyteller swept away. Me, I, who called myself a magus or an angel, exempt from all morality, am on the ground with the duty to seek and the rough reality to embrace, peasant. Am I being deceived? Is charity the sister of death to me? I mean, I'll apologize for feeding on a lie, and let's go. But not a friendly hand, and where to get help? Yes, the new time is at least very severe. For I can say that the victory has been won for me, the gnashing of teeth, the whistling of fire, the stinking sighings are moderated. All the ugly memories fade away, my last regrets run out, jealousy for the beggars, the robbers, the friends of death, the backward of all kinds, damned if I'd get even. You have to be absolutely modern, point of hymns, take the not one. Long night, the dried blood is smoking on my face, and I have nothing behind me but this horrible shrub. The spiritual struggle is as brutal as the battle of men, but the vision of righteousness is the pleasure of God alone. However, it is the day before. Let us receive all the influences of vigor and real tenderness. And at dawn, armed with ardent patience, we will enter the splendid cities. That talked I to hand friend. A great advantage is that I can laugh at old false loves and shame these lying couples. I have seen the hell of women there, and I will be able to possess the truth in a soul and a body. April, August, 1873, End of Season of Hell by Arthur.